This is Motorcycle Mechanics Simulator on the Nintendo Switch and I've been playing it for a few days now and I just thought I'd upload some of the early gameplay to explain uh, why I'm giving it the mark I'm going to give it. Of course, I don't rate games out of 10, but if I did, I'd give this a 7. It's a solid 7 because it has a lot of fun. It's got a lot of stuff in there that I do like. You know, the customization parts and you know, all the premium parts. Pretty cool. Upgrading your uh, garage is, is, is actually quite good. It's, it's not the most amazing graphically astounding game you'll see, but it does exactly what it says in the tin. It's a simulator game, but with motorbikes. The parts and everything, they vary. You unlock more as you uh, progress. The vehicles themselves are pretty simple to fix. Always a little bit more fiddly, and you have to find out exactly what parts are missing or need repairing. Some parts uh, won't need repairing, as you'll see later on. They'll just need uh, buffing, polishing, spray paint, or you know what I mean, just kind of customization. Uh, they have like um, a minor flaws, you know, like a bit of rust or something like that. So it's kind of like a wire wall job, you know. <laughs> but you use the rotating uh, thumbsticks to do those sort of things. Working the wrenches as well when you're taking things apart. It's like a kind of mini game where you use the thumbsticks to turn the uh, uh, the tool onto the actual nut or bolt itself. You can tell I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> not in real life. I'm a chef. <laughs> and a gamer <laughs> but this game is definitely worth your money because it's not overly priced it's pretty fairly priced to tell you the truth I've got virtually all of Ultimate Games Simulator games so check those out there's quite a few good ones they've got there Bus Simulator is a good one but yeah Bus Mechanic Simulator yeah, it exists because I've played it so check my video stack for that I've uh, reviewed that game as well and I actually like that game this game is very similar to it of course, you just fix the motorbikes. All the fiddly parts, graphics, and everything are pretty decent, really. I mean, the inner sanctum of your garage, yeah, the graphics could be better. I could moan that the music is very mundane, but it, it's not great. But I can just turn the music off and put a bit of, you know, motorhead or something on. Something a bit more uh, interesting, you know. It's too tame. A bit of rock music would be nice. You know, when you're fixing cars, I guess if you listen to radio anyway, so just put the radio on and play the game. It's good. It's fun. It takes you away from things. It's a good time killer, this game. All the parts and stuff that you have to swap out are really well done. You know, the animations are pretty good too. Not, not as good as other uh, simulator games that these guys have released before. But this is, you know, it's a pretty decent one. It's not as um, awkward and fiddly as previous titles, but it still takes a little while to get used to the... Um, control screen because there's no touch screen support unfortunately it's all um you know handheld or in dot mode that, that's the way you play i play on the pro control in dot mode uh, we can just play on the go but you know it's a pretty decent game it's not bad it's not the worst game i played but it does add little you know new bits as you unlock stuff and that kind of keeps the game a little bit fresher and just avoids a little bit of boredom there's plenty to do there's lots of jobs to do different ways of fixing things as I say it's not always about you know uh, replacing parts and undoing them in the minigame style also you know buffing things up again using the thumbsticks to buff or to turn um, the wrench you know to fix things it's that simple again I think it's pretty decent and definitely worth a 7 out of 10 you know if I did more games and I have to give it a 7 because I think it's a fair you know a fair score because it's pretty, it's pretty decent fun when you get the hang of it. So if you'd like to play this game, you'd like a free copy, two EU codes I'll have. I'll be happy to give those out to any subscriber or new subscriber who likes and comments, you know, the usual stuff, and I'll give you a code if you're lucky enough. I'll give the most deserving one I can. Usually it's a Twitter follower who finds me on Twitter. Uh, but if you do have a Twitter handle, or you have some way of me contacting you to give you the code, then you've got a better chance of winning. And again, the mini games in this are pretty cool. Very simplistic. It's a good kids game as well, and they get to learn about vehicles. So that's definitely a definitely a plus, I think. And the other games my children still play, they enjoy those. The bus simulator, car simulator. Yes, I, I got them all. <laughs> so if you've got any 
if you, if you see Ultimate Games uh, in eShop and you click on their titles and you see all the other simulated games, I've got all the reviews and all the gameplay for those games. So check it out. Until then, thanks for watching and yeah, good luck if you win the EU codes. And uh, yeah, I'll give those out as soon as I can so you can enjoy the game like I do. And uh, I think I'm level 13 at the moment. It takes a little while. <laughs> anyway, great game. Not the best, not the greatest. I'm not going to lie here. But it's a good time waster. <laughs>